today we're going to be making a strawberry supreme cake. So first you're going to need one cup of water, of course the cake mix, and three large eggs and one half a cup of vinegar oil. You're going to preheat the oven to 350. Of course you need adult supervision. And then we're going to, after we cook it, we're going to put confetti frosting. And we're making chili. So once this gets brown, um, we're going to get another spoon because you don't want to cross contaminate. Then we're going to use diced tomatoes. Then you're going to use dark red kidney beans. And then we're going to make Cole's original garlic bread. Thanks for watching. Okay, back to the cake. So we're going to stir all this up. It's so nice and smooth. And then we're going to pour this in this pan. And we, we already used Pam. So first, we take this out. Satisfying. I'm going to scrape the rest of this out. Okay, so we're going to carefully put this in the oven, of course, with only adult supervision. So let's open this. We're not going to slide it in too far, just a little bit right in the middle. Then we're going to stir this. Right now we're browning the beef. Make sure not to burn your arm in the steam. We like using lean beef. And once you're done browning your meat, you don't want to cross contaminate. Cross contaminate means there's still raw meat on the spoon. So after you're done browning the beef, you want to change up spoons. While the beef is cooking, we're going to use this to open it. So I already poured some in here, but Come with me to drain this out. We added our kidney beans. Now time to open these diced tomatoes. Now we're pouring diced tomatoes. And then we're doing chili seasoning. Let's open this. Make sure not to get it in your eye. diced tomatoes and chili seasoning. Let's stir this up. So now that, now that the meat is all browned, as you notice, I have a new utensil because, as you know, you don't want to cross-contaminate. Now, we're, we're going to pour this into our food. And we have to drain the grease. I'm going to let my mom drain the grease. Everything's done with the hamburger. We're going to transfer this into the pot. Be careful. I'm going to stir this up and then put it on low. Let's stir this up and then we're going to do the garlic bread. check the cake in the middle and see if it's raw. Nope, it's not raw. 
So we shut this in now. While that cooks, we can put the garlic bread in. We're check checking on this chili. It's starting to look pretty good. Now it's time to take the cake out. Watch the edge, it's very hot. Make sure to close this. And there we go. While the cake's cooling, we're going to put the garlic bread in. We're going to let the cake cool for about 20 minutes before we ice it. While the chili and garlic bread is finishing up, we're going to ice the cake. Lunch is served. I like mine plain, but my mom likes cheese and sour cream. We have some garlic bread, and afterwards we get to eat this delicious cake.